Stay tuned for tips and techniques from the nation's top chefs in the Chef's Kitchen. Welcome to the Chef's Kitchen. I'm your host, Tina Marie, and today we're joined by Chef Gary Cannon of Straper's Restaurant. Hello, very, very good to have you here. Thank you, it's great to be here. Wonderful. And Lyman Whitaker, celebrated artist. Very good to have you here Thank also. You. Thank you. And of course, John Spain from the Main Art Gallery. How are you? Nice to see you again. Wonderful to have you here too. Now, John, you had mentioned to me earlier this is your most favorite week in Maine. I Why is that? I love this festival week. Arts in the Inns is Arts in the Inns. a wonderful pairing of fine art, fine food, and fine wine. The community gets together, um, and we bring wonderful artists together with our local restaurateurs, yes. uh, with uh, wine purveyors, and it's a fantastic festival that lasts for many days. And your gallery figures prominently in this festival, correct? We're lucky enough to have uh, a really fantastic group of artists. We represent about 45 artists all together. Wonderful. Um, and I'm truly blessed to have this gentleman here as one of those artists, Lyman Whitaker. Very talented individual. You will be joining us at the end to taste one of Chef Karen's culinary creations. Uh, there's two elements to the dish today. We're going to do a lobster and watermelon salad. Mm. And that's going to be finished with a basil and green chili sorbet. Oh, sounds delicious. A lobster, of course, because we are in Kennebunkport, yes, Maine. Yes, indeed. I would be disappointed if we weren't featuring lobster in one of the shows today, so that's great. Oh, and at Stripers, there's always lobster, so. Yes, I've heard a yeah. lot of very, very good things about Stripers Restaurant, so looking forward to this. So let's Excellent. begin. All right, it's a very simple produ uh, production for the sorbet. We're going to start with eight ounces of basil that's been blanched in salted water and then refreshed in ice water. I see. And then okay. drained. We are going to puree with ice water. The ice is going to help keep that nice bright green color. Keep that going. We're going to have just a little bit of sea salt, a little pinch. Very nice. This is a savory sorbet. So ah. in a savory sorbet, we're going to use a little bit of just, this is liquid glucose. It's a lot less sweet than a, a normal sugar syrup. Liquid glucose. Right. So how do you how do you get your hands on something like this? It's available in bakery supply stores. Okay, and we should add that the whole purpose behind the arts and the inns is to marry uh, two great art forms, visual art and culinary art. And you have been inspired by Mr. Whitaker's Yes indeed. You know, wind sculptures here. And this is the inspiration behind this dish. I've added the green chili. And I've added a little bit of rice wine vinegar to that. I'd love to chat with you a bit, Simon, about how you got started doing these wind sculptures because they are rather unique and they really line the whole property here at Breakwater so beautifully. Yeah, I think it started as a, as a child uh, being really interested in nature and natural forms and uh, the movement of natural forms and uh, the wind and water, which of course are the really original sculptors. Mm -hmm. And so I thought maybe I could uh, partner with them and help let them, and in the end they did most of the work. You know, they dictate the forms and the shapes and, Certainly. and even the arrangements. I just do the grunt work and put it together. So uh, that's kind of how I got. So you see yourself got, as more of an engineer to, to yeah, nature. Yeah, I always wanted to be an engineer. Really? Uh, but I uh, need a little more slack, you know, <laughs> engineers. Are, it's very are, precise. Too, yeah, I need to be able to utilize my mistakes. Yes. And uh, art, art allows me to do that. And so how long have you been creating these sculptures? Oh, you know, I think it actually goes back to college in their original forms, which is too many years for me to say. <laughs> <laughs> so now we have lobster meat, I see. We do. We ah. have beautiful fresh lobster meat, a pinch of sea salt, some diced seedless watermelon. Mm -hmm. um, it could Shallots. be confused as tomato, actually, but some beautiful... It seeds. could, and actually tomato would be beautiful in their in would season it? when when we have some in August when they're nice. And then we have a little fresh tarragon. Mm. Just a squeeze of lime, mix that up a little bit. The last bit was creme fraiche, not Good. mayonnaise, just, so it's just a nice light summer salad. There it is, and that's ready to go, and we're ready to plate. Oh, beautiful. I have a little sorbet made. This is going to take about 20 to 30 minutes to turn in the ice cream machine. I see. So I have a little sorbet done up ahead. And for the presentation, to bring out some of Lyman's work, I decided to do an arrangement of spoons. Oh, how lovely. And <laughs> I love how you create in the background the, the, the little bit of wind that's coming in through our tent here is showcasing how your uh, wind creations work, which is very nice. Yes. This is where our chefs get to use their own visual artistic abilities here as, as they plate their food. And this, this is, is the finished sorbet. chili, green chili and basil sorbet, which is just a very savory, 
flavor. We have the lobster watermelon salad with a basil and green chili sorbet. And John so, Spain, come and join us, ready? sir. <laughs> yes, indeed. How about Ooh, this? Would you like to, to feature this, this in your gallery? We get to do this twice in one week. <laughs> Isn't this uh, nice? I had the pleasure of tasting this a couple of nights ago. Here, and chef, please, you must oh, join of us. Hold that for you. There you go. Thank you very much. Very good. Please go right ahead. Oh, this sorbet looks wonderful. Okay. So, gentlemen, let's taste to art Good. in every, every form. form. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Mm. Thank you all. The way the sorbet just mm. coats your mouth, which is a wonderful, wonderful mm. flavor, just beautiful. Gentlemen, oh, you thank you so it. much for being here celebrating Arts in the Inns in beautiful Kennebunkport. I think I'm going to stay. <laughs> <laughs> we would love to have you. <laughs> thank so. you again. To see today's recipe and all of the recipes featured on the Chef's Kitchen, log on to chefskitchen.tv.